all right guys you have been asking for a long time for this video how do you install lollipop 5.1 or lollipop 5 on the raspberry pi i know it's not simple it's not simple as uh, writing an image to the sd card or anything like that but today we are going to install android lollipop 5 on the raspberry pi now for that you will need a linux distribution it cannot work on windows it, you may you can do it on mac but it would be a little bit different but for today we are using ubuntu 15.04 any version of ubuntu would work so here we go first we need to install gparted so for that we'll open up the terminal and ins uh, and write the following code Once that is done, insert your SD card and open up the Gparted application. Now, the f while this is loading, the file I have attached with the uh, Android Lollipop for Raspberry Pi 2 has the following files. Now this also has an install.txt which you can open up and which I would be referring to while I install it on my Raspberry Pi 2. Now we'll go over to the gparted partition editor and we will also open up the application called disks now what this will help us with is to recognize who, uh, which disk are we running so in this case we have the sdd so we'll open up the drop down select sdd and unmount Now we'll go to devices and create a partition table, select MS-DOS, it's already selected and set apply. It will delete everything that is on the SD card. So make sure you do not have any important data. Now once we have uh, formatted the disk we need to right click create a for our first partition which would be 512 MB in size and it would be fat 32 and we label it as boot our second partition would be ext4 and 537 MB in size and we label it as system Our third partition would again be 512 MB in size, uh, exe4, and label it as cache.
now the remaining partition that we have in my case it's 5.8 gig we'll create a new partition and whatever the size is left can be the size of the data partition it would be ext4 and also we we'll label it as data once it's done we will uh, select the tick mark to apply what the changes that we have made this will take some time Now once that is done we can right click on the boot partition and select manage flags and give it a boot flag so that the pi automatically boots from there. Alright now that is done and we can open the file manager here you can see the partitions now be careful and mount only the boot partition at this point once that partition is mounted you can see a little symbol here to eject that next we need to go to our download folder select all of the files except for the system.image file and the install.txt copy them and paste it paste them in the boot folder now with that out of the way we need to install the system.img file to the second partition that we have now to do that we do uh, first we need to go to our download folder to our download folder which in my case is pi5-1 so we need to go there by cd pi5-1 once we are in there we can type ls and check all our files are there next what we can do is uh, is to copy the this command right here the dd command which would help us which would basically write the system.img files to the second partition of the SD card now once that you need to replace the P2 with your drive letter so in my case it would be SDD2 so the second partition of the SDD disk now this also will take a long time and it will not have any progress bar so you will have to wait till the uh, process finishes during this time the only indication of any activity you have is that the LED light on your SD card reader would be flickering and now it's done uh, we can also make sure that everything has been properly written onto our SD card by simply typing SYNC now we can close everything and eject the boot partition and take out our SD card and finally put it in our Pi 2 and let's see how this works.
Alright guys, I have inserted the SD card and I am connecting the power to my Raspberry Pi 2. Now as you will see, it takes a very, very, very long time to boot. Now you need to be patient, do not disconnect it in between. Now while this is happening I might also increase the speed of the video at least 4 or 6x or maybe even 8x if it needs to be because I don't know how much long it will take to boot completely. Now while it is booting I would like to thank POHD -P I hope I am pronouncing it right it's P-E-Y-O-H-D on github for all the coding efforts that that guy has put into the uh, modification of the android source code so that it can be run on the raspberry pi 2 i would be leaving the github source code link down below so thank you so much for doing that Finally guys it has done booting up and we are now at the home screen. It, it took about 3 to 4 minutes which by my standards is pretty impressive because I have seen boots, previous boots that are much longer than this. Now to finally see how this works it's not the fastest thing that you would come across running on the Raspberry Pi of course. Raspbian and OpenELEC run much faster than this but it's a start we don't have the graphics driver as of now but um, yeah also you may see that we are missing the notification bar or the uh, home and back touch buttons from the screen that's because it's an android tv build and not a proper android phone uh, phone build so let's see what android version it is and it successfully shows android 5.1.1 and you can see here it says android tv on the rpi 2 and let's see if we can get the game to work now we have the lollipop logo and we have the game running Now with the keys missing we can go back using the escape button and that takes us to the home screen. Now we have very limited functionality here because of the missing GPU driver but it's more of a proof of concept than a proper working OS and I'm sure when people get the final version of the graphics driver working which is very close i guess it's almost done from the things that i've read till now we will finally be able to run android properly on the raspberry pi 2. 
थैंक यू सो मच गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग एंड सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड डू ऑल ऑफ दैट स्टफ कमेंट डाउन इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स आई एम श्योर आई विल बी एबल टू क्लियर दैम आउट एंड सी यू गाइज नेक्स्ट टाइम